She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick All the boys there can't help it, it's a what up guys, your boy SoFly Sojo1 now has merchandise for sale, make sure you guys go down in the description and go ahead and check that out. Right now we have a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a hoodie, and a coffee mug. But there will be a whole bunch of new items added to the list in the near future. Be on the lookout. Hey, 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 what up guys, it's your boy SoFly Sojo1 back again with another Grand Theft Auto video. Now today, we got a semi-solo car duplication glitch. It's gonna be a semi-solo car duplication glitch because we're gonna be needing our partner for a brief moment. To start things off, you guys wanna make your way on over to the casino penthouse and then you guys wanna call up any vehicle from one of your garages, alright? You're gonna take this vehicle, you're gonna have your partner Hop right on in to the passenger side, and then you're going to drive it right on in to the parking garage of the casino penthouse. Once inside, you're going to have your friend hop inside of your vehicle, and he's going to sit in it for the remaining time of his glitch. Now from here, you guys are going to want to make your way on over to your nightclub. You guys can either teleport, or you guys can call out your Sparrow, or call out your Buzzard. Either way, you guys are gonna want to avoid using your personal vehicle. You can't use your personal vehicle because your friend is sitting inside of it. So in the video, I called out my Sparrow and I'm gonna make my way on over to the nightclub. Once you guys arrive at the nightclub, you guys want to enter the Garage B1 or the Terabyte Garage. You guys now then want to hop in either your Speedo Custom or your Terabyte and you guys want to press right on the D-pad, hit the start button to open up the map and then you guys want to hit triangle to exit on out of the terabyte or the speedo custom from here you guys want to make your way on over to the arena war so we're going to teleport on over there so go right ahead and open up your map go right ahead and press square on the nikon and then join anawak from the job so from right here you guys want to join anawak accepting all the alerts and that should teleport you on over to your arena war or somewhere close by depending on whatever icon you guys teleport it to Alright, so once you guys get done teleporting, you guys want to make your way on over to the arena war. Go right ahead and enter inside. And you guys want to enter into the garage, wherever you guys got the car that you guys want to duplicate. I recommend you guys duplicate in a Future Shock Issy that sells for $1.8 million. You guys want to hop inside the vehicle, press right on the D-pad and pull it inside of the modification shop. Once you guys pull it inside of the modification shop, you guys want to go right ahead and exit the arena. Once you guys are outside, what you guys now want to do is go right ahead, open up your interaction menu, go to services, and request your MOC. About a minute will pass, and you guys should notice that the MOC appears on the map. What you guys got to do now is call up a vehicle that you guys do not mind losing. So possibly call out a free LRG RH8. After you guys called out the vehicle, you guys do not mind losing, you guys want to wait for about 10 seconds and then go right ahead and tell your friend to get out of the vehicle that he's sitting in inside of the parking garage. Once your friend gets out of the vehicle, you guys should notice on the ISSI or whatever car that you guys want to duplicate, the license plate will change. So what you guys want to do from here, you guys want to take the car that you guys want to duplicate and you guys want to drive it to your MOC. Now we're going to be taking the car that you guys want to duplicate and we're going to be putting it inside the MOC. Go right ahead and press X and ignore all the alerts. And there it is guys, there goes your duplicated vehicle, alright? These are clean plates, alright? So no need for custom plates. You're probably thinking to yourself, so fly, where's the original vehicle at? Well, the original vehicle was back at the Arena War, so we're going to go back to the Arena War and we're going to show you guys the original copy. Alright, once you guys made it to the arena war, you guys want to enter inside to go and check to see if you guys have your original copy. Alright, there it is guys, there goes your original copy. Alright, so the original copy is inside the arena war and the duplicated copy is in the back of the MOC. Alright, so what you guys want to do is enter the MOC. Go and grab your duplicated copy, and now we're going to go and sell the duplicated copy for $1.8 million. So go right ahead and take this duplicated copy to the Los Santos Customs. 
and these are clean plates so you guys do not need to worry about dirty duplicated copies or anything like that. Once at the Los Santos Customs, you guys want to drive it on in and go right ahead and hit that sell button. You guys will get a massive amount of money. For this fully upgraded Future Shock or Nightmare Izzy. You guys will get $1.8 million every time you guys sell one of these Future Shock or Nightmare Izzy's fully upgraded. Now make sure you guys obey by the daily sell limit, which is 1 car per hour, 7 cars per day, and a 30 hour limit. Alright guys, it's your boy, SoFlossOJo1. Please hit that like button. Definitely subscribe guys and definitely turn on all notifications. And I'm out. Peace.